Namaste Namaha. Welcome to your five minutes of self-care. So today I like to speak to you about non-excess. One of the yamas that you can find in the Yoga Sutras by Patanjali. Why am I referring to the philosophy of yoga? Because they're still relevant today in our way of modern living and society. However, we do need to adapt them. So for instance, non-excess also in Sanskrit, Brahmacharya, walking alongside the divine. Isn't that beautiful? Alongside the divine, the spirit. It speaks to us about energy and how we choose to use our energy with whom we share our energy, on what tasks we actually exert our energy. And especially when it comes to the most powerful energy that we can give away is our sexual energy. That's why in the ancient tradition, Brahmacharya was all about abstinence and you can find it in the old scriptures. Now let us just look at it from a modern perspective, because we cannot expect all of us to live in a monastery in the Tibetan hills. It's just not going to work. So to adapt to our modern living, it's all about finding moderation and honoring this energy, how we use it on a daily basis, including when we lay with another person, intimacy, how we share this energy. And our modern society has just gone so far that everything is work hard, play hard, and swiping right and left. And believe me, I have also looked into it and tried it. And the fact is, to honor yourself and honor your body, your specific DNA of energy, your vital life force, will also allow you to know your own worth and value and who you want to share it with. We can be in service to humanity, yet again, especially for the highly sensitive empaths and the light brokers out there, we also need to know how to protect ourselves. And when we, for instance, easily give away our sexual energy, that also depletes depletes us and certain other energy factors latch onto us. There's an interesting podcast and a book that you can read from Teal Swan and what I'm currently reading. And it's all about self-love. And Teal Swan is, for instance, a highly intuitive and gifted channeler person. She can see auras. And there's something interesting she wrote, and I actually just read it last night, where she speaks about seeing the auras and the skin is just one barrier but knowing that everything else is mixed up so which means all these energies are connected with each other so sometimes when you walk into a room you can maybe feel an argument happened there before and you can feel the energy and especially we have the tendency with age or with conditioning and programming in our lives to desensitize ourselves to exactly these energies What if it is good to feel it, but just knowing also how to protect ourselves, knowing also to walk away from certain energies, walking away from certain relationships, walking away from certain circumstances. I give you an example. I used to be partying a lot and that just happened even six years ago. And now I can feel exactly what's going on in the room. And the way how normally people numb themselves and how I used to do it is to lower my vibration to get on the same level by, for instance, having a drink. And I used to smoke a lot in the past and have a cigarette. Now, this does not work for me anymore because I just don't want to deny who I am and how I am. And, you know, I can just feel things way faster. And there are many people out there who are like-minded and especially get activated now to step into service. What I'm doing now, I have a full-time job during the day. I'm sharing with you my experiences. And if I would have not walked the talk and gone through massive transformations in my life from addictions to 
emotional abuse to certain things, then I could not actually share with you realistically with credibility how you can overcome these challenges and obstacles in life. And I always refer back here to the yamas and the niyamas, the ethical guiding principles and the values that we have, the outside world, but also within ourselves. And it starts all from within. Now, Brahmacharya, knowing when you walk alongside the divine and honor your energy, find moderation, find balance, homeostasis in your nervous system, knowing when it's excessively too much and when it, you can actually step back, knowing when you have healthy stress or chronic stress, knowing when you need to rest or when you need to be active. Namaste, Namaste.